Okay, so let's find the second term of this expansion. n to the power of 3 plus 2n to the 6. And here we go. We're going to use the formula again. The term of number k plus 1 is equal to n c k times x to the n minus k times y to the power of k. Great. Now we just need to plug everything in. We know we're looking for the second term, which means that k plus 1 is 2. So k is just 1, since it can subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. So we're looking for t2 equals n c k, because our n is 6, k is 1, n c k times the first term, which is n cubed, to the power of 6 minus 1, times 2n to the power of k, which is just 1. Great. C, uh, sorry, 6c1 is just going to be equal to 6, because every time that we have a co uh, combination and a number c of 1, that's just going to be the number. Or even if it's like that, that would also turn out to be this the number. So 6c1, just 6. Here we have m cubed to the power of 5, because 6 minus 1 is 5, and 2n to the power of 1 is just 2n. Great. Now we simplify. m cubed to the power of 5 is just m to the power of 15, times 2n. 6 times 2 is 12. So we get 12m15, n. And that's it. This is the second term of our expansion.